Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news markets seem to be tiring of all the political shenanigans. Today, politics may be grabbing all the headlines, but the economic drivers are still working away in the background. The American merchandise trade deficit widened sharply in December to $73 billion, and on a seasonal basis, this is one of the widest monthly deficits on record. Exports fell 1.3% year-on-year to December, while imports rose 3.3% on the same basis. This is another sign the US economic growth slowed in the fourth quarter. In the housing market, a sign activity is picking up. Pending home sales rose in January from December with a good 4.6% gain. But year-on-year, they're down 3.2%. U.S. mortgage applications also rose, and the average interest rate most borrowers are paying for their standard 30-year mortgage is 4.35%, which is back to levels that applied a year ago. Canada's inflation came in at 1.4% in January, down sharply from 2% that was reported in December. This wasn't unexpected, and is essentially driven by much lower petrol prices. They were down 14%. Across the Atlantic, the latest batch of economic surveys shows falling economic sentiment. Consumers are staying downbeat, while manufacturers turn sharply negative, even as their service sector recorded more positive outlook. In Australia, they had another quarter to December, where construction work completed came in way below expectations. In fact, this data is now lower in 2018 than in 2017 by half a percent. The sharp fall in residential building is expected to be a significant drag on the broader Australian economy. And staying in Australia, ASIC has revealed it'll be using big data to check that mortgage brokers aren't submitting applications that distort income levels, with a new program designed to catch out cheaters. US Treasury 10-year yield is at 2.68% after a rise of 3 basis points. Their 2.10 curve is higher at just on 18 basis points, while their 1.5 curve is still negative at 6 basis points, a little less so today. It's been negative all year. Gold is down $5 today to $1,320 an ounce. US oil prices are sharply higher, just over $57 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is just up to on $66.50 a barrel. OPEC has confirmed production cuts in direct defiance of the US President's warning. The Kiwi dollar is starting today lower by half a cent at 68.4 US cents. On the cross rates, we're unchanged at 95.9 Aussie cents, and against the euro, we're at 60.2 euro cents. That puts the TWI down to 72.7. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.